Welcome back to Banama Today. My name is Fabian and together with me is Mr. Archman. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, welcome down, the Managing Director of Food Panda. Now, Food Panda is actually a food portal where you can actually order food online. Now, uh, let's just, just let him tell us a little bit more about Food Panda. It's only three months old and maybe you want to share with us uh, how is it actually being conceptualized into this? Yeah, it's basically giving Malaysians, people of Malaysia, mm -hmm. an option to go online and order food conveniently mm -hmm. from from a, over 100 restaurants now and we are growing okay. all the time and they can sit at home and it's an e-commerce site. Mm -hmm. So just like you order things online, other mm -hmm. things, maybe you do shopping, you can order food online. Right. You've got variety of cuisine, Chinese, Thai, pizza, pasta mm -hmm. and it, it makes it so easy for you because it's, it's a seamless process mm -hmm. as opposed to looking through some books, making some phone calls, mm -hmm. errors in the calls. It's, it's, it's error-free, it's simple, convenient, mm -hmm. and gives you choices. Right. So, um, tell, tell us about uh, how food, the name Food Panda came all about. <laughs> because the first thing I see Food Panda, I remember Po. <laughs> <laughs> Panda oh, <no>. always eats. <laughs> Panda always eats, huh? Okay. So, uh, how, how the name come, came about? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, it's a mixture of a lot of things. It's mm -hmm. a mixture of what relates to people. Mm -hmm. We wanted to have a mascot because okay. a, a, a mascot sticks to people's mind when they have a brand mm -hmm. associated mm -hmm. with it. And uh, so we, we did some market research and survey and we came up with uh, various studies and this was the brand that stick, stuck mm -hmm. the most in people's minds. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I mean, everybody likes to get food delivered by a panda. <laughs> so so yeah, actually a panda is delivering food like that? I mean, we surprise our guests, some of our guests sometimes, some of, some okay. of the offices, we get the panda and we give some vouchers, we give some discounts. So we all right. often like to surprise our guests. So um, food panda is only established in Malaysia. Is it anywhere else in other countries? Yeah, we are right now, I think, in eight countries. Mm -hmm. It's in uh, Thailand, Vietnam, mm -hmm. um, India, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And um, in, in we are in South America, we are in Colombia. Okay. And there are also plans to grow in other countries. Well, that's quite a huge network that you actually have, right? And uh, according to our reference, there are about uh, 100 restaurants available, right? Now, uh, can you like name some of the restaurants that are, that are already with you? Because, you know, usually restaurants are the attraction. Yeah. If I have a craving, certain craving, I want to eat something. So yeah. what are the restaurants with you? It's a good mix of everything, basically. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's um, we've got for, for Indonesian cuisine, we've got Bumbu Desa. Mm -hmm. For pizzas, we've got Canadian pizza, Puzzini, Skippy's mm -hmm. Pizza. Then we've got Secret Recipe, we've mm. got O'Brien's, mm -hmm. um, Dara Beef Burgers, Chicken mm -hmm. Rice Shop, uh, Chicken, mm -hmm. and we've got a tons of uh, Indian restaurants, Mughal Azam, JM Biryani. We recently signed Legends Claypot Biryani. Okay. So it's basically a, a variety of cuisines for people. Wow, that's that's uh, quite a bit of a restaurant clientele <laughs> you have there, yeah. right? How about uh, Chinese food, maybe? Yeah, we have we have a lot of uh, we have Hakka. Mm -hmm. as a Chinese restaurant and uh, I think I think also we have some of the Scandinavian cuisine we've got uh, Swedish cuisine oh. the Puzzini they've got nice Swedish meatballs okay and uh, it's 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 the same it's in the same lines to give people a variety of choices from mm -hmm. their house right. they don't have to worry about cooking cleaning dishes mm -hmm. and basically uh, even after go even cost effective because instead of going out mm -hmm. you take out the car you pay for the petrol mm -hmm. you basically take out your time instead of doing something else so mm -hmm. it's it's for young people corporate people who would like to work and utilize the time mm -hmm. I mean while coming out from the work, they can order on their phone. We have a mobile browser app. Oh, okay. So you can order That's in your train, you can order in your taxi cab. By the time you're home, there's food at your door. I see. So it's, it's basically convenience and, and simplicity of process. Okay, now, um, foodpanda.my is it's the website, right? Where does it service? Because you're saying you're delivering, right? Where, yeah. where are you actually servicing? So right now, we are focusing in, 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 in the Klang Valley area. Mm -hmm. It's uh, basically the KL territory, mm -hmm. along with the Mount Kiara, Bangsa, Sri Haritamas, Ampang, mm -hmm. Petalang Jaya, and, and, and a bunch of other territories. And mm -hmm. we keep, keep on growing and we're keeping our adding restaurants and mm -hmm. doing marketing and letting people know out there that okay. this is your service. Okay, and uh, how, how does uh, actually Food Panda plan to achieve its business ob objectives? I mean, in terms of, uh, okay, how are you planning to increase more restaurants? What's the target? And maybe you have a clientele. How, uh, yeah. How, yeah. yeah, I think I think it all starts with giving people good restaurants and variety. Okay. That is the heart of our business. Is we, we always try to get restaurants and a variety of cuisine. We try to get big brands out there, brands mm -hmm. that people love, brands that people like to eat and would like to get delivered in their houses. Mm -hmm. It all starts from there. And from there onwards, it's basically letting people know. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of online, offline channels. We do events, we do corporate events, we mm -hmm. do um, promotions in malls and festivals. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just let people know out there that, you know, just give it a shot, mm -hmm. try it out once, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. you know, and you, you'll see how convenient and how easy it is. Now, what was the challenges in this business? Because uh, we all know you have uh, competitors, like some, you know, the, some of the companies actually have their own delivery system. So uh, what, what are your challenges in this business that you see? Yeah, I think regarding competitors, it's, we, we are not directly their competitors because mm -hmm. it's entirely different way of ordering that was done before. Right. It is the traditional way, as I told you. When call center, you make errors in phone mm -hmm. calls. Mm -hmm. Ours is e-commerce website. So basically, okay. we, are, we are an entirely different, we are targeting an entirely different segment of customers who are mm -hmm. basically tech savvy, who want to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. I mean, these ideas were there in developed countries like US and UK and some parts of Europe before. People have been using this extensively. They've been doing mm -hmm. sales in millions. They have, I think some of them have over 10,000, 12,000 restaurants. Mm -hmm. So now with the growth in GDP of Malaysia, young corporate people getting into the business, they, mm -hmm. they, we would like to give this service to them. Okay. And Let's say, for example, if a restaurant is in, uh, say, say Sri Hatamas, right, and I'm living in uh, PJ maybe, um, would this restaurant be able to deliver over to my place or is it uh, because I realize one thing food panda I go over there it's location based yeah. and most of the restaurants are the restaurants around us is there plans or are there plans to actually um, expand them yeah. because uh, Sometimes I don't want to travel far when yeah. the food comes yeah. th that come to me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think the answer is a mix of yes and no. Mm -hmm. Yes, because yes, we want people to get food from all over Klang Valley, mm -hmm. but no in the sense that the fries are cold, the drink is, oh, is, yeah. is flat, okay. the Coke is flat. So there are a lot of issues when we increase the distance okay. to, the, to the extent. So of course, there is a critical area that we can deliver to. Okay. Mm, let's say five kilometer radius that we try to stick to. Okay. But occasionally, I mean, eventually when, when we are more logistically capable, I would like okay. to increase. So that means you're also taking care of the restaurant's reputation in the end of the day. So tell me a little bit about your relationship with restaurants, you know, yeah. um, in terms of uh, what the win-win situation you have with these business partners. I mean, for them, it's just they, they, they are in the business of cooking good food okay that, so basically we want them to continue doing what they do mm -hmm. is a good job of making the dishes and we take care of marketing and bringing them an entire new segment of customers that don't walk into the door true okay so mm -hmm. so basically it, it, it's in the same lines to to make sure that everybody every stakeholders the restaurants and the customers and ourselves everybody is a win-win in this in, in this case customers okay. get what they want restaurants so now this is an internet startup company and our food panda would uh, actually probably attract customers we need a 24-7 online service. You uh, Tell us a little bit about your customer service uh, support, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so right now, we are only from 11 to 11, mm -hmm. but we hope to go 24-7 very soon. Okay. And our customer service support, we have a call center. Basically, if there is any problem, the customers can call the helpline. Okay. Uh, Wait, 11 to 11 is delivery time or customer service time? It's it's the time that our business is open because okay. it's also related to when the restaurants are open. Okay. So there means no breakfast for me. <laughs> <laughs> very soon, 24 seven. Very soon, very soon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, these are the menus that we already have, right? Uh, very nice. Uh, 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 one of your partners, maybe? Yeah, it's JM Biryani, fatty crabs. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have very good seafood delivered right to your place. Right. And basically, as I told you, it's mm -hmm. it's 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 technologically advanced mm -hmm. uh, company, mm -hmm. and it's it's creating a, a more jobs also in Malaysia because okay. we're hiring a lot of Malaysians, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's creating a sense of entrepreneurial activity in Malaysia that, and I think I think Malaysia KL can truly be the center mm -hmm. of entrepreneurship because because of the cost factor mm -hmm. and also because of the quality of education that some of the top universities exist here and students coming out of there and there is such a big market Southeast Asia I think people in Kuala Lumpur and people in Malaysia should entrepreneurs should just go for it and okay. follow their dreams how, how many employees you have in the, in the office? right now it's uh, it's 17 employees 17 wow that's seven, a lot yeah. that's that, that's quite a bit yeah. and you're going to employ more riders and all that yes right? yes definitely we are we are increasing more we have marketing operations uh -huh. riders call center everything okay what's in the pipeline you know maybe you can tell us your three months plan six months plan maybe a year from <laughs> probably to let us know you know you're going to kill us up we you conquer know, the world in one year we conquer the world <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean definitely uh, f plans for Malaysia I would mm -hmm. say is to grow into other cities mm -hmm. is uh, eventually look at some of the other big cities out there okay and uh, but before that do a good job at, at Klang Valley mm -hmm. is is make sure service departments mm -hmm. is make sure like the hungry Malaysians out there at least try out this 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 concept that has been proven and that has been mm -hmm. done so many times before in in the developed countries and now it's here mm -hmm. for for them and it it basically saves their time because 
uh, as I said, it's both cost effect. It saves their cost mm -hmm. and the time if you consider. Okay. Yeah. Who do you co um, consider as your competitors? Because um, you see, in a line of this this service line, right? We have a lot of competitors. So who do you consider yourself uh, or your competitor? What makes you different from the rest? Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, to, to be frank, if I, if you look at our business, the way, way we conceptualize it is mm -hmm. as an e-commerce company. There are no competitors right now. Okay. It's all traditional traditional ways of doing it. It's 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 paperwork. It's repetitive. It's full of errors. Uh, I mean, there is no company out there currently mm -hmm. in, in in Malaysia that is doing what we do. It's basically an e-commerce website, just like you order th other things online. Now you order food. Okay. Well, um, maybe you would like to share with our viewers uh, something from uh, from your your place, maybe. Yeah, I mean, uh, so our office is a very free and uh, free free mm -hmm. environment. Like mm -hmm. people interact more, and I, it ideas flow out. Even even the small like e any employee, even a call center employee has an idea. We like to implement it. Mm -hmm. Basically, as I said, create a sense of entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurial activity, not just in our employees, but in the region and and mm -hmm. in general in Malaysia. Uh -huh. Is is let people know out there that. You know, if you if you have an idea, for example, we have an operational problem, mm -hmm. we have a marketing issue. I, it's important that every we have a young culture, so everybody right. comes out with their ideas and they go for it, and basically. It's a small family in a in a big company. <laughs> let's just say that, right? <laughs> big company. Okay, thank you very much, Ahmed, for coming here early in the morning. Waking up is not easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> you do it every day. <laughs> All right, uh, stay tuned to Banama TV for more updates right here. But for now, thank you very much for watching Banama today. We'll see you next. Next Mondays. Thank you.